So we are uh, headed up right now to Grand Marais, to the North House Folk School for the next uh, 10, 10 days, days or so. Yeah. What is the mission? What is the goal of the trip, right? So this week, I'm gonna take off 10 days to spend time at the North House Folk School taking a couple carving classes, a Kukska class and a figure carving class from some really well-known carvers. We're gonna spend uh, three days taking one class and then followed by another three-day class. And then during that time, we're gonna stay at a little hotel really close up the road so we can just walk down with our tools every day. Everybody knows where they are. Yeah, I'm in the right place, and they know what's going on. It's time to start the adventure to Woodwick number 12. Now, away we go. Thank you. All right. Well, um, today is the beginning of my first class. The first three days is figure carving, and what we're going to do there is we're going to start out with a little tiny block of wood, probably you know six inches tall, three inches by three inches, and then uh, we're going to learn how to cut that down into a basic shape. And then throughout the class, we're gonna carve that into like a little pickle caricature with a face on it or a little gnome. And the process in the class, uh, for me, a lot of it anyway, is like learning how to carve the eyes into the figure and making them look kind of real and uh, picking up tips from the instructor. So it's not really like a regular class where you sit down, you open up a book. Uh, it's more like you sit down with a block of wood and then there's a carver that's much more experienced. And then they sit down and kind of share their tips and their secrets as you're carving your own project. Well, this is where we're at so far. Now, I spent two and a half hours working on that, and once you know what you're doing, you could carve this entire thing in two and a half hours. This is what we end up with when we're done. So, um, we're shooting. We're shooting for that. This is kind of the process, and then with the instructor, we go up and sit down with him, and he shows us how to do it on his piece, and then we have to sit down and uh, go along with him and you know get our piece to the same spot so we just take little steps as we go to figure out how to slowly transition to that final final piece so 
so you know you kind of have to see what comes as it goes like so right here is going to be like you know we're going to have a, a nose right here it's going to stick out so we have to build like a little bump there for that and the eyes will go in up here um, carving out the arms you just do a little bit at a time and you kind of slowly see the different parts come out as you go all right well that wraps up three days of carving at the north house and these are the little guys that i that i carved with the help of an instructor you know um, it was nice to sit down and learn some new techniques on on what to work on so now we get a day where we go to our workshops and some different open um, open conference type of things and then we have three more days with a new adventure coming up soon first pizza that goes into that oven will cook in about 180 seconds. So things happen fast out in the oven, but tonight's not about fast food. Right, tonight's about joy, the joy of community. So this is going to be a call and response experience. Today is the second half of Wood Week, and uh, I'll be working on making some uh, kuskas, which are Norwegian drinking vessels. And right now, we're just uh, carving out the uh, the basic shape on the axe log over there, and uh, we'll work on that over the course of the day. And by the end of the day, I should have a pretty carved out drinking vessel. So these are the two blades that I ordered from Portugal, and uh, this is a, considered a scorp. Uh, you'd use this by going into the wood and helping to hollow out the cup. Um, and this is also considered a hook knife. It could be used for spoons or bowls. Um, this is also just another tool for working on the inside of the, uh, on the inside of the bowl for trying to get down towards the bottom so you can get a rounded bottom. Here's another similar type of tool and that's for gouging out at the bottom of the bowl. Um, so that's a similar thing. Um, this one is new. Um, this one is for going to the bottom. Again, most of this is about getting to the bottom of the bowl. So I'm looking forward to trying that one out. Um, um, this is just a gouge. Again, it's got kind of a rounded shape on it so that you're working the sides and the bottom of a bowl. So those are pretty nice. Uh, another round bottom gouge. And then uh, a couple new uh, draw knives. You know, a lot of this is used on the outside or as you're getting close uh, to rounding out your final shape. And this is a little depth gauge that I made. So you put that in the bowl and then you can raise and lower it, figure out how deep it is so that when you come outside the bowl, you don't accidentally cut through the entire bowl.
tie your shoes before you run. Mind your knees before they get stunned. Tease the bees, you're gonna get stunned. I know all I need to know. Yes, I've heard it all before. Well, it's sad to see the week come to an end, but it was pretty awesome. We had three days of figure carving, three days of kooksa carving, community pizzas, hanging out with evening workshops, um, chip carving, a lot of people sharing their experiences. Um, so having the week come to an end is, is kind of sad. It's a great place. It'll be uh, kind of a bummer to drive away tomorrow morning. So coming to the North House, driving four hours to spend time up here carving, uh, it just wasn't about um, you know creating a figure or carving a bowl. Um, it's about immersing yourself in this old world craft and the community and all the like-minded people that are here that come together for this time uh, to work on all these things. It's a super unique experience to uh, be around all these people that are, are thinking the same things you are and working on the same projects that you do. It, it's really more of a journey and an experience than it is uh, just the final product. And you could say it was pissing Jim. It's hard. See, even if I close my eyes, it's 15 degrees I'm going.